Shalom, brothers and sisters. So let's start the week by talking monkeypox. As you well know by now, the World Health Organization declared monkeypox a public health emergency of international concern. A declaration that could prompt a coordinated international response, which is what they're going for. They want to hype up the fear, make sure it's worldwide, covers every single human being and hype that response up as well. So that those nations will turn to them and say, what do you suggest we do? We're listening and they can implement authoritarian rules for what's lying ahead. So there were between bird flu and monkeypox. It seems monkeypox is winning against bird flu, even though there is still a meeting on bird flu next month, I think. So the WEF's <clears throat> head of health and healthcare, Shyam Bishen, says with this declaration, countries will need to invest significant resources in controlling this outbreak, not controlling a possible outbreak, not brainstorming potential outbreak, controlling this outbreak he's making definitive statements like he knows something this seems to be the one they've put their money behind and they're running with so the interesting thing that i also saw in this whole thing from the who and the wef they're all involved in this but the world health organization said two things specifically that jumped out at me the response is going to involve vaccination for mpox where available de being deployed to manage close contact such as health workers okay so same as COVID, and then robust surveillance contact tracing infection prevention prevention and control strong surveillance and diagnostic systems partnered with swift information sharing has ensured that health authorities can rapidly report and communicate on the outbreak so that's interesting robust surveillance is going to be part of this whole response system that's going to happen and then all around the world people are starting to jump on this now because the wef is talking about it the who is talking about it the un is talking about it one of the articles says the uk should have been more prepared for mpox amidst warning it may be here paul hunter professor of medicine at the university of east anglia told the mirror i will bet on it already being in the country because by the time you get infected and diagnosed to understand what clade it is you're looking at about two weeks experts have said we should have learned our lesson from previous outbreaks and tried to stop the spread as soon as we knew about it michael weeks professor of viral immunology at the university of cambridge said monkeypox is going to keep coming back governments should have realized this they needed to provide better funding better access to vaccines and a proper global response after the spread in 2022 <clears throat> so yeah they should have known they should have prepared better why did these people not support us in our planning we need to have the authority to do what we need to do so this doesn't happen again you see the the way they're using the words the way they're framing the whole situation this is the ground layer of what's lying ahead with mpox sweden reports first case of deadly mpox strain outside of africa sweden on thursday august the 15th already announced their first case of the most dangerous variant of mpox which the who declared a global public health emergency the country's public health agency confirmed to AFP it was the same strain of the virus that surged in the DRC since September 2023, known as Clade 1B subclade. A person who sought care in Stockholm has been diagnosed with MPOX caused by the Clade 1 variant. It is the first case of Clade 1 outside the African continent. Right, so that was Sweden. Now, if they knew this and they knew about trying to stop it from spreading and they knew it was in Africa first, why not lock down that country immediately, stop all flights and travel in and out from that country and contain it? Isn't that what the UN, the WF, EF, the WHO are all about? But somehow, oops, having learned our lessons from COVID, you know, that they implemented, 
still these things are happening all over the place. <clears throat> okay. China begins screening arrivals for MPOX as Pakistan reports, reports first case of deadly virus. Right. So China, this time not directly blamed. This time it will be Africa that's blamed. China announced Friday it will begin screening people and goods entering the country for MPOX over the next six months. Just two days after the WHO sounded its highest possible alarm over the worsening MPOX situation in Africa. People traveling from countries where virus outbreaks have occurred would have been in contact with MPOX cases or display symptoms should take the initiative to declare to customs when entering the country. Vehicles, containers and items from areas with pox cases should also be sanitized. So we're right back to 2020 and the whole blow up there right now. And they're already starting this whole push. China on a large scale, but mark this, the rest of the world very shortly to follow. Mpox vaccine maker ready to produce 10 million doses uh, going on what they're thinking and the way they're talking this thing up and freaking out 10 million doses won't even scratch the surface danish drug maker bavaria nordic said thursday it was ready to produce up to 10 million doses of its vaccine targeting mpox by 2025 after the who declared the surge in the virus we have additional manufacturing capacity of 2 million doses for 2024 and a total of 10 million by 2025. Rolf Sass Sorensen, vice president of Bavarian Nordic, told AFP. So there you go. The vaccines are being built and being prepped. They're uh, quite possibly going to go the same route they went last time. And the interesting thing here is they want to test for mpox they want to like take blood tests run screenings do all those kind of things now an interesting thing pointed out to me by uh, todd which which was really interesting is if you take the insert from the COVID 19 vaccine astrazeneca it contains replication deficient chimpanzee adenovirus vector encoding the sars cov2 spike glycoprotein so there's already chimpanzee adenovirus in your body if you've had the COVID vaccine. Now they test for monkeypox. Is the fact that there's something monkey already inside you from the last thing that you had injected going to flag as a potential monkeypox issue and get you locked down, shut down, treated, declared as sick? Very possible in my opinion. It sounds very much like a thing that could happen now why exactly would that be something that is in the previous virus and now suddenly we've got monkeypox it wouldn't have flagged if it was bird flu because what's uh, chimpanzee adenovirus got to do with bird flu pretty much nothing but now that it's monkeypox interesting so there's that to think about as well there's a lot of stuff that we don't know that they factored in and thought about and really brainstormed and wargamed and everything for round two. So, as I said to a, a great brother in the Lord, Ian Smith, on Sunday, um, yeah, they probably are going to go with monkeypox from what I'm seeing in the world and the news stories, the WHO, the WEF, the UN, the response so far, the vaccine makers, all these things. And yes, then they'll probably produce lockdowns again. And they'll probably go much harder this time. They'll probably use the military. They'll probably flex a lot more muscle and ensure a lot more obedience. Um, all those things quite possibly before the end of this year. And no, I'm not trying to scare you. As a believer, you shouldn't be scared. A, we should have learned our lessons and know better this time. B, we have Jesus. There's nothing to stress about. God's got us. Where's he ever dropped us? He doesn't. He is with us through all these things. So don't stress. You don't have to get worked up and go and follow all their orders. Please don't. And uh, don't worry. God's got us as long as we're here. And there's a really good chance the rapture takes place anyway. So there's nothing to stress about. But you need to know that from where I'm sitting, it very much looks like 
this might be the thing they go with towards the end of this year. God bless. Don't get up to monkey business. Shalom.